Well, hello there, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for coming. I've missed you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming to this reading. If you are returning viewer, you are welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. You are highly loved and cherished here. If you are someone new who's just arrived on the channel, who's just seen this video, you are highly cherished and welcome and loved here. Uh, we welcome you in. Come on in. Have a seat, all of you. Let's do this reading for you. This is the full moon reading for the 16th of April. I am going to be do using the Fairy Lenormand deck to do this reading for you guys. I hope that you get the most benefit out of it. I hope and pray. Um, this deck is the beautiful fairy deck. The energies of the fairies are very fairies are very high um, tonight because of the full moon. They've been very <laughs> active and maybe a bit, you know, they're lovely though. They're lovely. I'm not going to say mischievous, but they are lovely. <laughs> okay. You guys, you're welcome. Come on in, have a seat. Let's see what the first card is that they show us here. I'm just going to shuffle and let the fairies pick a card. I've got a fairy video on this channel. If you go to the list of my videos, she appeared for me on it when I was doing a ritual. It is the real deal. It's none of that nonsense. Um, what's it called? CGI or whatever. It's real. You'll see her. She's made out of a small blue light. She's gorgeous. The link will be in the description of the video if anyone wants to have a look. Okay, let's see your first card. Oh, there you go. You've got the fairy herself. <laughs> this is a beautiful card, okay? It heralds new beginnings, and it's like telling you that something is going to start. That is gorgeous. Um, it is divinely guided. And it's just a matter of... The feeling that I'm getting with it is that it could be a matter of just pure luck. You know, that this happens. It's just something a very lucky... Um, situation that wants to happen for you Sagittarius now this card here is a beautiful card um, I mean it's like it's called the child or the little girl in a in, a, in the, the normal deck and it's a child of in it, it's a card of innocence and purity it's action without guile without you know it's like doing things in a very innocent way and I think this is your way Sagittarius at the end, it boils down to you being very innocent and coming from the heart. Okay. It is a card um, of doing something for just joy, you know, uh, and, and without caring about the result, you know, well, not worrying about the outcome, which is the best energy for manifestation. And this full moon brings in with it like full completion and manifestation for many things. There's a lot of abundance coming towards you guys. I have seen it in the readings before and I am seeing it again now, okay? It's like this firm anchor made of gold I keep seeing and it's big abundance that is going to be given to you guys for the sign of Sagittarius, wherever you may have it in your, in your charm. If it, if it is the sun, if it is the rising, if it is the, um, uh, what's it called, the Venus, whatever it is, it's there okay the abundance is coming in whether it's vedic whether it's um this uh, astrology that we have today you can rest assured that the abundance is coming on 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 you okay this is a lot of a lot of abundance and it's been driven by the angels and i get a feeling that some of you are waiting for it um you've done some very clever things i can tell you that there's things that, that are they could be investments you know Something like that, because there is a lot of cunning <laughs> behind this manifestation, behind this abundance. But it is coming to you, and you did do it, you know, you came, you were coming from the right place. I do see an older man or a man who is residing over this, could be a gentleman who is more senior, who is watching over this. And I do see that he is like kind of a guardian. And um, you could have an ancestor in spirit, a male ancestor, especially if you have the F, letter S for sugar. Could be in your name or in the name of the ancestor that you have. There's also a an, an letter um, J. And that could be either in your name or in the name of the ancestor that has passed on. That is watching over you. That wants to bring you this abundance, okay? Your prayers have been answered. They have not been hit in a brick wall. <laughs> Some people think like, oh my God, I've been praying for ages. Nothing's happened. But is they being, they are being answered. God is still in the business of answering prayers. So your prayers are going to come together. 
Okay, they will manifest. Okay, but there's this strong energy of a man that I am picking up tonight. Um, he is very powerful in spirit. And you are like a baby to him. You're younger than this man. He could be from your father or grandfather or even great-grandfather. Let me know in the comments if this resonates. This man is an amazing man. He used to wear like hats or cover his head for some reason. Or maybe there was something peculiar about the way that he used to style his hair. Um, but there's a lot of love here that is making me feel for you, Sagittarius. The next card you have here is the, the mice. The mice card sometimes can talk about gossip or loss, you know. So if you've lost someone recently and they fit this description, this reading was meant for you, okay? And part of this reading is very, is very much directed towards you because I am getting this feeling of like a loss. The loss could also be connected to the fact that maybe you've made these investments and you've not seen a return so far, okay? Um, and maybe that's why you're feeling like there's some kind of loss there with you. For you, love and money are, are almost always connected for some reason. And I do see that in a lot of the Sagittarius reading, readings. Maybe you're going to come through, uh, across the money through some kind of love relationship. It could be also just familial love or love between siblings or friends. Someone is going to help out and it's going to, you know... Uh, it's going to be amazing. This card, the mice card, we call it the mice card, okay? Um, if you see, there's some mice here, if you can see it, you guys. It's beautiful, yeah? <laughs> Look at the fairy. <laughs> Just watching them. Okay, so the mice is a card, card is a card of productivity. It's a card of being busy and getting the work done, okay? So, um, uh, like I said, I feel that you guys have already put the work in. It's a card of like someone who works in silence, doesn't really tell anyone. They maybe they maybe you've invested invested and kept it to yourself, which is excellent. Okay, keep silent. <laughs> I think it's not a good idea to involve other people's minds, whether they mean good or bad, when you want to do something, because the mind is a powerful tool. Even if they're just anxious for you, it will still affect the outcome. You know, it's their anxious anxiety that could be blocking this okay or delaying this or will make mess with it so keep it to yourself it doesn't happen all the time i would just advise people to keep things to yourself i'm giving being given this message for someone like to tell you to keep quiet about it um this is a card um well, someone like who's working away um slaving for the good of whole of you know of everyone um but often people don't recognize you they don't give you credit for what you're doing, or maybe they're not, they're not recognize you yet, but big recognition is coming towards you now, okay? Um, it's like you, sometimes this, some of you could, could have felt that you were done so much, but you've not been given anything in return, anything substantial. Um, it, this card can represent a loss, but only if, you don't li if, if someone doesn't listen to the message. And the message here is that you have been working hard, you've been keeping things to yourself, and I think you've done the right thing, and yet I believe that you have received this message correctly. Um, it's kind of this, if, if this was a bigger spread, this, this card would represent the sinkhole of the reading, so it's like where people need to pay attention kind of thing, okay? So you've got this new beginning coming in an abundance, but they, this Spirit wants you to keep it to yourself, all right? That's the best way to go, they're saying, for some reason. I hope this resonates with someone. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, with you then just, you know, um, don't take the message. But I do feel that it's meant for someone specific. But you're all getting the abundance. <laughs> Whether it resonates or not, the abundance is, is for sure. Okay, let's see what your next card is then. There is, give us a next, another card for Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So you've got the tree card here. The tree card is about health, okay? Um, and I think that, you know, um, it, it promises good health and it tells you that if you've had a worry like that about your health, don't worry about it. You're doing the right things, 
you know, you, you shouldn't worry about it, okay? And I do feel your health improving over the next weeks to months. It's like I seeing someone diet or someone do exercise or like even just, you know, eat uh, better, like, uh, you know, more fruits and vegetables and so on. And then you get um, your health improves, but it will improve the energy in the planets. And in any way, it's for your health to improve. This full moon is amazing for manifestation. And I know that Sagittarius people are swift manifestors. If you guys want to manifest something, I would give it three days. <laughs> Especially if you do it like with the right, you know, you do, you use the right tools. I mean, I work and I help people spiritually and I help them manifest things and I have many tools. I have many things up my sleeve from oils to candles to, you know, incenses to incantations to all kinds of different things, crystals and stuff that even people haven't heard of but it's really <laughs> it's really because my my venus is, is in sagittarius um and my manifestations are very quick and i'm grateful for that and i always wondered why is that why is that i'm not you know sometimes you wonder if you're gifted about why you've been given something and what is the reason behind it but then um my uh my grandmother, God bless her soul, she passed on. She used to tell me that it's because of the Sagittarius in, in my chart. And I think that you guys are amazing at manifesting. You guys can turn darkness into light just by, you know, by manifesting correctly. There's a lot of love here that I feel from you guys. Thank you so much. I adore you guys too. <laughs> it's always nice to feel this warm feeling, you know. I've got a lot of friends who are Sagittarius. And to be honest, all my life, I've not really fallen out with anyone who was a Sagittarius. I love them all to death so much, you know. Um, there's just this connection that I have with them. And it is probably the Venus that's in Sagittarius. You guys are fabulous. The cars are jumping around. I don't know which car to, to take. Let me just ask the... <laughs> the fairies, they're, they're, they're throwing them all around the room. Where is... Which car? This one? Do you want this one? You sure? Yeah? Because this car fell out. Guess what car it is? That's sun, Sagittarius. Shall we celebrate? Shall I put the music on? <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, so look, if you have been feeling down, like dark, like this on this side of the tree, yeah? You're coming, you're walking and moving towards a big breakthrough, okay? I really do feel that if it's a relationship or love that you want, this is what you're getting. If it is abundance and money it's what you're getting and you've been on the lookout for it I've, i can see you i can <laughs> i can see the energy you've been on the lookout waiting for it you know you're kind of losing patience but it's coming in it's coming in what the what the fairies are saying is like it's coming from above it's a very it's coming from heaven like it's coming from a high place um, it's supposed to be yours and it will be kind of thing, you know, and it's just targeted and meant for you Whichever way that it comes it is meant for you always remember that Okay, you have a powerful energy and, and a lovely energy. Okay, and um, Is I'm also getting the energy here of someone who likes orchids Orchid flowers or sunflowers like myself. I like both very much but the only flowers I have on my <laughs> reading table. So, roses as well, okay, roses, frangipani. If if these flowers resonate with you, then definitely this abundance is coming, okay? <laughs> it's powerful. The sun will shine on your life, my dear, and it is connected to a number four, this abundance, within four days, four weeks, or four months, maximum time frame. Or in the month of April now, something amazing is going to happen for you Sagittarius you guys are beautiful you take the weight of the world over your shoulders you want to be on good terms with all people um, and you just give especially if you're in a relationship in love or a friendship or any kind of situation you give so much you can't help yourself <laughs> you want to be stingy but you can't be <laughs> it's your nature to give so it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing that's happening for you, Sagittarius. Really, congratulations. Your ancestors are behind you, supporting you and giving you a push forward, okay? And I am feeling that there's... That they are saying that if you have... 
any green crystal, especially jade or aventurine, green aventurine or bloodstone, especially bloodstone, um, or any kind of like green tiger eyes, the green ones, they will bring the abundance in. Okay. They also, um, are telling me to tell you that there is love as well. And it's not just about money there is a love relationship that's coming on that someone has been feeling down because um they haven't had a wholesome relationship for a while just know that this is coming in for you okay it's about time you've waited long enough okay you've been feeling alone you're like a diamond in the rough you know that's the energy that i'm picking up someone who's like a diamond in the rough really people don't know how valuable you are but never ever compromise because you are va you're more valuable than you could even comprehend. You are exactly like a diamond and I think that people will recognize this about you very soon. You've got so much love to give and you are one of the most beautiful people that I have seen. Okay, so I think that you need to really believe that about yourself because that will bring love in. Relax, chill out, it's coming in. Okay, some Sagittarius energies here that I'm feeling do feel that like the reason that they're not getting the love is because there's no abundance. Okay, but that's not right. All right, the abundance is going to be here for sure. I do have a feeling though that the money is going to come before the love for many of you. Okay, so the money is coming very soon or probably over the next few days or weeks. But the love is coming after you get the money. It's connected to, in, to it in that way. All right, so you are one of the friendliest signs that I've seen. And I think this nature of yours is going to make many people stand by your side and help you out in this situation. And the feeling that I'm getting here is not, it's not really an inheritance. It could be, I mean, because I picked up on that energy in the beginning of, of the gentleman who's passed on, who is really adamant on someone that's watching this reading to get some abundance. They want them to stop worrying about money they want you know they want them to be on top um but there's also an energy of this money coming it's like something that someone has done a long time ago and they've forgotten about it and now they're gonna find out that it's really become really um a big you know someone putting something small in the ground and then just the seed and then coming out and finding a big oak tree oak tree or pine tree or whatever it's amazing all right essential oils that will help you guys the spirits are saying that they said use rose essential oil use vanilla it's very good for abundance use cinnamon and clove these ones are very powerful for abundance frankincense as well if you have some um but they're not necessary i mean if you just pray sincerely to the most high that this thing comes through you are watched over. The angels are behind you. The spirit is behind you. The universe is behind you. Whatever you do to manifest it, it will be successful. Because of the energy of the full moon, this is a high time for you guys to start praying, okay? And getting these, this stuff together because it's coming out gorgeous. This gentleman is still around, okay? <laughs> this person has come to this reading, okay? It doesn't happen often. I mean, I've never, I've never had it happen to me on this channel ever since I've started it. It does happen in my pri private readings, but not like this. So this man had a very specific cologne that he used to use, and it's like an Old Spice, you know, the Old Spice cologne or tabac or something like that. You know, it's like very nice smell. Um, and that is maybe you've been smelling it around you, some kind of cologne or perfume, even like the smell of cigarettes or something. So there's a smell, there's a, someone who's smelling something who reminds them of someone that's passed. And that person is the one that is standing behind this abundance and fixing it on your, on your life path. So congratulations, Sagittarius. It's going to be fabulous, okay? There is a huge love offer coming towards you. But like I said, I feel that the money's coming first. All of these things are divinely guided and they're coming down in a very organized way. So you're going to start to realize that there have been a lot of synchronicities. If you look at the clock, if you see 1111 
or 333 or like uh, 711 <laughs> it's gonna it means it, it means it's coming okay you're on the right path okay someone's also been seeing 47 47 is a number of congratulation from your guides and angels and ancestors telling you that you are on the right path and you're doing the right thing it's very lucky because the total of this number is 11 okay and 2 47 starts to appear to someone when they're about to find a soulmate or a you know coming to a divinely guided union and i feel that this is definitely in the cards for you guys some of you have had enough of waiting and i don't blame you you've waited for a long time but you have been patient and it's about time now that things start happening for you properly okay it's definitely coming in all right i think this person as well is going to be very well off so you won't really have to worry about it when you get the money and you become like a celebrity and then everyone that comes to you, you kind of look at them up and down thinking like, Oh my God, what are they going to do with my pentacles? <laughs> but they're telling you not to worry, yeah? <laughs> this person is a beautiful soul that's coming into your life. And, you know, he'll be very protective over you, Saj. Don't you worry, my darling. You're very pure, though. There's a, you guys, tonight with this reading, you've got a lot of purity for you. Let me just start the phase. Is this enough, girls? Is this enough, girls and boys? Is this enough? Should I do the yes or no questions? Are you sure? Yeah? So that's all they had to say to you about the main cards. Now let's do the yes or no questions for you, Sagittarius. I'm going to answer three questions. I'm going to be answering them using this beautiful deck here, which is the Nefertari Tarot, which is a gorgeous deck. Um, and you just ask the question, and I'll keep shuffling. <laughs> And then the first cards that come out will be, um, uh, the card that comes out, that flies out, is going to be your yes or no, yeah? All right, let's go. Let's start now, I'm shuffling. Ask your questions, don't forget. <laughs> All right. Well, did you see that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I should stay a bit quiet, the neighbors are going to start. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, you've got the Eight of Cups. Right. This is a big yes. Okay, this is a big yes. There's no chance for any no answers with this. This card also talks about massive abundance. Okay, it's about being far-sighted and concrete, like... It's something that can't be shaken. That is definitely going to happen. Which is this abundance? Okay, it's a card that talks a card that talks about concreteness. Like it's like concrete. It's so hard, so fixed. It's coming to you, and it's coming now with all of this abundant energy. It's a card of being far-sighted. So I'm telling you, this is like you know, it could be talking about some kind of investment that you've done in the past. That is like you know bringing you all these bringing all these cups in as well um it is a card of like moderation and shyness so maybe you've been like holding back a little bit uh or shy to kind of pursue this money but they're telling you to go get it yeah there's nothing that will stop you and it, you know you just need to need you, you need to do what you gotta do and i see you doing it okay um it is a card that brings lasting love as well okay and it's a card that brings in great joy and celebration and happiness. And if someone the other day was really inclined and they were waiting for like a pension money refund and this card came out and this card is a card of a refund. OK, this investment that's coming to you, the money that's coming to you is going to be probably like it's going to be like a cosmic refund, like the universe, God, the most high, the angels. They're giving you this thank you money, okay? For all the good things that you've been doing, you've helped many people and you've watched many people's backs and now it's your time to receive. You better believe it, okay? It's definitely coming in for you. And like I said, the card is not just about abundance, it's about lasting love as well. So you are getting both, all right? Now, I feel that the moon is very powerful for you guys. So try and pray and manifest around this full moon. The energy continues even seven days after the full moon has gone. So 
at any time when you have a moment just try and meditate or pray or ask just ask what you want in a loud voice yeah because not all spirits can hear you uh, can see your thoughts some of them need to hear your voice okay they're skilled at other areas but some spirits can hear the thoughts other ones can't in any case this is a big yes Sagittarius and it's like coming with both telling its own story wow okay let's see about the next question <laughs> Yes or no? Give me a card to search. Oh. Too many cards fill out there with me one second. Okay. Let's see. Give me a card for the Sun Sagittarius. The yes or no question. Ask your question, Sag. Let's go. Thank you. Give me a card for Sag. Yes or no question. Oh. Okay, so this one came two times, so I'm gonna put it in. So this is the Five of Cups, okay? And in this deck, it's actually a very nice card, okay? It's like saying that, the first of all, the answer here is no, okay? Maybe, I, I, I don't know, they said the answer is no. Um, they're making me feel that Someone has been a bit fearful about this situation or worried about losses or losing something. They're saying your fears are justified. It's normal to feel like this. Everyone who is put in your place, even if they're psychic, even if they are like the holder of the Akashic Records, they'll probably be as worried as you are or have the same fear. So they're saying the fear is justified, but it won't affect the situation okay there's also someone here who's worried about people who will be coming maybe to share this abundance with them or to ask them or maybe even people coming from the past who will pop up as soon as you get the abundance um but they are saying you know um that you are going to have the wisdom and, and spirit will guide you, especially the full moon. Will, this full moon will give you clarity on many things, including who to help and who not to help with the money, because I do see you helping people. Okay. It's also this card here talks about someone who's had hopes, but you know, they've been frustrated about, about how things are going now. Okay. Um, this won't last. Okay. That's why they're saying no. This kind of feeling is not going to last. Once you get the abundance and you get into the energy of it, this will, all of these fears will be a thing of the past. The people you're worried about, you'll be, you're going to be definitely guided about what to do. Okay? There are some people who deserve a reward and there are some people who don't deserve a reward or maybe don't even deserve to know about the abundance that's coming to you. So they're saying that the answer here is no. Um, and that the fears and, and anything negative will end once the money arrives, okay? And then you'll know what to do. It's a very happy occasion that I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. Congratulations, my darling. You guys deserve it. Okay, let's see about the third question. Third question. Ask your question, Sag. Sag, Sag, Sagittarius. <laughs> The gorgeous Sagittarius. You guys are always handsome, beautiful, and gorgeous. Wow, look at this. So you got the sun card. So, <laughs> oh my God, do you see what I see? <laughs> so let me show you. This is very impressive. You've got two sun cards. This is a sun card and this is a sun card. Wow, this is incredible. Right, 
you definitely are coming into this wealth okay now the answer to this question is yes and it's a big yes and it's a final yes because you've got the two sons they're telling me i don't need to explain much after this <laughs> because it's definitely going to be here okay the love is coming it will follow the abundance or in some cases they could come together okay at the same time all right but don't fret. Soon, you're going to be loaded. I'm telling you. And you're going to come and tell me, Monty, you were right. Isn't that happened, you know? Um, I am so grateful for you guys' energy. You guys are incredible, Sagittarius. You're, you act fast. You act, you act fairly. You're very loyal, fiercely loyal people. You work hard for your buck. And I think at this point now, you deserve to be given a break okay the feeling that i'm getting is that you've sacrificed so much and you deserve a big break and it is definitely coming now okay very very soon all right i think the readings cover three months ahead but i just feel that it's going to happen now you know over the next days or weeks maximum that's all i have for you sagittarius you are amazing please stay powerful please if people don't know your value, you do. You're more expensive than anything. You're more valuable than anything. You're more powerful than anything. We love you. We appreciate you here in, on this channel. And we will support you forever. When you subscribe to my channel, I take it upon myself to do regular prayers for people who do that. Okay? I'm not expecting anything in return, but I just do it. I just want to let you know. And my clients who I deal with privately know that thing. If anyone comes to me, they're part of me. Okay? So I'm grateful for you guys. Grateful for your energies. Please remember me in your prayers as I will remember you in mine. Let me close this with a, with a prayer for you guys. Dear God, please intercede on behalf of the Sagittarius. Please come into their lives. Bring them this abundance. Bring them this abundance. Bring them this abundance. Let it shower upon them like silver and gold and diamonds give them money give them wealth give them security give them the power to hold their own destiny within their hands give nobody control over them open the roads for them my god from all four directions north south east and west stand in front of them behind them above and below them my god and give them the strength to be confident and know that they are valued in your eyes they are valuable they have high value they are valuable my god please protect them from all harm and give them health give them love give them happiness beyond their wildest imaginations make their dreams come true my god we are grateful to you for answering our prayer thank you amen all right, you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Congratulations.